Hello everybody and welcome back. Um, so we're gonna be doing a tutorial finally, which so many people asked for and I was very lazy to do. Um, we're gonna be doing a tutorial on my potion machine. Now this is not the same potion machine that was originally shown off in uh, the first the first time I ever showed it off. If you've been following what I've been doing, I've been working on a reamped version of that original potion machine, which is a kind of like a 1.8, 1.9. It's pretty much the finalized version of this machine until I build another one. So with that in mind, let's get this thing rolling. To start off, I'm going to give a brief demonstration on uh, what this thing does and how to use it for anybody who hasn't done it or seen anything about it just yet. If you've already know what it is and you want to build it, then you can go down to the description and there'll be a time that you can click on going right to the tutorial. But for anybody who hasn't seen it yet, basically it's a potion making machine. So over here we have settings like lingering potion, drinkable, and splash potion. You can change these at your will. And then um, to the left of it, we have a set of three, one set of three, or you can have it repeat brew the settings that you've selected. Um, and over here, you can either choose to have increased time or increased power, like strength two or jump, uh, jump potion two. Over here in the middle is where all your stuff will be. So down here, you can see that you could select whatever potion you desire, and you just pull down the lever, and that means that potion is now selected. At the top, you can see that you have some frames and some uh, signs if you'd like to kind of designate exactly what they are. But you also have all your materials and um, assets at top for creating your potions uh, in the hoppers. Over here to the left, we have the end brewing thing. Uh, so this will begin your cycle of brewing. If you just pull down the lever, it'll start brewing whatever potions are selected in your settings. And then you put the lever up in order to end repeat brew if you have that on or to just um, end it in general. Um, here's a trap door, which on the inside it has a hopper, which is right above your potions. So this is what's currently in your queue. So if you pull it down, you'll see all the items go in and you can see the next item in your queue for the potions. If you make a mistake, you can open that trap door up and edit it right in there because all the materials and uh, things will be in there. Right here in the front is a blaze uh, fuel hopper, which will contain your blaze, and that will put it into the um, brewing stand behind it. So you can just make sure that that's filled with blaze. And then below here is where your potions will come out of. This is the chest that, where you receive your potions. To the left here we have a uh, chest that will hold all your water bottles and the hopper going in here with a little water source and you can real quickly grab water bottles, fill them up, and then throw them in there. And um, yeah, to here there's a button and this is slightly explained in another video, um, but I may explain it later too. The button to the left here is to get rid of the error if you don't select a potion. Now. I always advise people to double check their settings, you know, just make sure you have what you want before you start brewing, right? But if you somehow forgot to even choose a potion, which is a bit crazy, but if it if it ever happened, then uh, yes, the machine will be a bit confused considering you asked it to start brewing if you press the begin button without actually telling it to brew a potion. So with that in mind, it'll get a bit, uh, you could say clogged up, but not really. At the, it'll start brewing through and it'll start shuffling out potions into here. But then after two minutes, just press this button and you'll get the last bit of potions out and then it'll basically be completely reset. That is more explained in another video and I'll have a link to that in the bottom. Real quickly to demonstrate it, I'm gonna do one set of three. I'm gonna do a bit more of a complex potion. Let's do actually the most complex. We'll do a lingering potion. A set of three with increased power and we're going to do a jump boost. So this should be jump boost two with lingering potion. And then we're gonna start off the thing. We press begin. You can see the nether wart comes in here and then we'll get rabbit's foot. We should get the rest of our stuff, glowstone, gunpowder, and dragon's breath. Now we're gonna wait up for that to finish up and I'll show you guys the finishing sequence. As you guys can see, the ingredients are slowly getting used up as the potion's going along. All right, now when there's no ingredients in your hopper, that means that your po that your brewing stand is currently using the last ingredient, which means that that's the last one before the potions are done. When the potions are all done, they'll be put right into this chest, and a the lamp will go up at the top, and you'll hear a little jingle. And there we go. Jump boost two, lingering potions, right there. Just as we specified, jump boost, uh, increased power, they have two, Set of three, we only have a set of three, we are not repeating brewing, and then we have lingering potions right here. So do all of that for you, just give it the ingredients at the front, and then just give it the 
fuel which displays and the bottles and the machine would do the rest. So here I've built the first display of the UI which is 31 blocks from here to here. I built the UI panel and then back here I have made the dimensions of the machine. Now this is not the actual dimensions of the machine as this ex is expanded as a square around the innards of the machine just to give you a slight idea of how big it will be. It doesn't as it's not actually this big. This does seem very large, but this is actually bigger than the overall machine in order to give uh, you guys an example of where it's going to be in the back of your panel. So once you have your UI panel, which is 31 blocks long, you want to just make sure you have one block above it and then you have three blocks below it. And then you want to make sure uh, from the UI panel's distance you have seven blocks in between going outward. Alright, and then the last dimension is length. So we're going to start that right after you get your seven blocks here. The next block to the left, kind of diagonal, is going to be 28 blocks going left. And that will be the full length of the redstone um, circuitry all the way out to here, this line down here. Alright, now that you know that, we're going to go on the left side of our UI panel. And we're going to count six blocks to the right. And then after six blocks on the seventh block, we're going to place a chest. And then we're going to go to the back of our chest. We're going to put a hopper going into the chest. We're going to put a brewing stand on the top. And then we're going to put more hoppers going up to the second block down. And then we're just going to do a long line of hoppers going out all the way until you are at eight blocks away from the right side, if you're looking from here, of the UI panel, which means that you'll just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then your eighth block should be where your hoppers stop. Now I'd suggest with this last hopper you have here, you just come to the other side and poke a hole in it, and then just poke a hole all the way down. You just get rid of all of this until you are... Once you're three blocks to the right and three blocks up, that's the last uh, hole you poke into the wall, and then that's it for the hoppers, which is three to the right, three up, and then that fourth block needs to be gone, and then that's it as far as uh, what will be seen by the hoppers here. Now you're just going to grab other hoppers, and you're going to just have those hoppers all go into these, just one by one, until you reach the end line. Once you have all your hoppers done at the front, you can throw a lever uh, two blocks here, one block up to the right of your chest, and then just throw a lever right here. That'll be your begin and end uh, potion cycle lever. And then to the right of that lever, we're going to go down one block, and then to the right, three blocks, and then we're going to just start placing levers. As you can see, it's about one block to the right and then diagonal down. We're going to start placing levers all the way down here until we get to the second to last one, and then we're going to stop right there. Now that we're here, we're going to go up one kind of diagonal from this lever, and then we're going to go to the side one, and then we're going to place that. This is going to be the uh, redstone or glowstone. We're going to go to the right, another. We're going to do this, one block in between. And then we're going to go here, and we are going to place a item frame. And we're just going to put it right there. Next up, we're going to work on the area to the left here. I highly suggest breaking this block and then the hopper right above the brewing stand. We're just going to break that, and I'd suggest getting an anvil and renaming it, maybe a custom thing like what is uh, maybe like currently in Q, just to be kind of fun and have that as a cool little UI thing you can have. So when you place it down, when you open up your Q, it will say currently in Q. Next we're going to break the block right in front here, revealing our brewing stand, and we're just going to put a hopper right there, and that's going to be our blaze. And then to the left of our blaze, we're going to go one block and break a block here. Now that block, as you can see over there, is going to be where our chest is. So we can open this up, and that'll be where our double chest is. Come out to the left here, place some hoppers connecting into our uh, brewing stand, and just have the hoppers come out here, and then we can place a double chest right here. Now in order to access this double chest, we're going to have to use some stairs. So we're going to just grab those real fast, and then break these out, and we could just throw them on the backs, so then it looks like it's full blocks, and you can just open them up real quick. If you would like, you can throw in an item frame right next to it, or you could throw it onto it and just have the bottle picture there so you have a bit of a feel. Um, we could just put it right next to it for now. For the queue, you're going to want to place a block, 
and then put in a trap door real fast and you can open that up and then break the block. So then you have your trap door in order to access your queue. For the water below the water bottles, we're going to just break that block. We can break in here real quick if we'd like to get in. And we're just going to place a block here and a block here. Just so we can have that two step protection block where you can just see right there. And then you can just place that back, put a fence, and then just put a water block right in there if you'd like. So you can real quickly fill up your water bottles on the go, and that won't mess with anything. Now one block above your trap door, one block above, we're just going to place a lamp, and that's going to be your little signal lamp to tell you when the potions are done. Now in between the water block and your chest, you're just going to place one button, and it could be whatever button you'd like, but that's it. I don't want to go over every single little thing inside of the item frames and every text on the signs, so I'm just going to give you guys some brief shots that show off what's inside of the item frames and the signs so then you guys can just pause the video and just copy down all of the text and the things inside of the item frames onto your own machine. Before we start off the redstone build I just want to let everyone know not to put ingredients into these front hoppers just yet. Now we're going to start with the redstone of the entire machine. Now this is either the worst or funnest part for you but regardless here we go. Now start off on your on this is on the back side of your UI here and you're gonna place one block right below the uh, first hopper on your left and then you're gonna just go all the way down in a row to the last hopper that's opened up on your right here and then you're gonna do the same thing with some repeaters right on top of that block that you just placed in a row once you're done with your repeaters the row of repeaters you're just gonna go down one and then start on the second block to the right and then you're going to do another row right below that row all the way to the second block to the right. So just one block in on each side and make that row right below your repeaters. Now I probably should have done this first but on that bottom row you're going to do one redstone and then one redstone here and then you need to probably go to the other side because other than these two pieces of redstone on the right here we're going to have all repeaters just facing outwards, all going out. And it's where your levers were, so you may have to break those and just uh, re replace your levers back there. Now we're going to place a row of blocks coming right, basically having the repeaters lead right into the row of blocks. And then on the last block here, I'm just going to throw another block, which I'm going to use blue wool as an example. On these blocks over here, though, we're going to throw down redstone torches but not on the blue wool block. From here on out I'm going to start using wool mainly to help myself keep in order uh, where the redstone currents are going. I'd suggest that you guys use different blocks too if you have it available but you do not have to. Right above these torches here we're going to throw down a block starting on the left one. We're going to go all the way to the right and including the last one without the torch below it we're going to place a block. And as you can see all the repeaters are lighting up so that should be blocking off our front hoppers. Now these four blocks on our left are also going to have redstone torches but they're not going to be set up the same way. So we're going to build a diagonal block out one. We're going to have two blocks here and then we're going to have another two blocks equaling the four blocks and then we're going to put our redstone torches on the side of these blocks and those are what are going to do pretty much the same thing as these guys but over here. Now to the left here we're just going to go kind of diagonal down one and then we're going to throw a block there, a block in between, block there, block in between, block there. Then we're going to just build this block out, the last one out, uh, seven blocks which will be the maximum thing here. And then on this last uh, pull out here we're going to do a comparator. We're going to just place redstone all along here and then on the fourth block here we just put a block out and then two blocks in between, last block, block there, repeater, repeater, and then that's what the uh, left side's going to look like. So we're going to start linking up pink and brown. So pink is going to be look, uh, linked up here. We're going to go up here. We're going to go two blocks going here, two blocks going here, two blocks coming out, and then one block to our right, and then that's going to go right into the Fester Torch. You could just place redstone all along the line there. Then the brown line is going to come out here. Oops, sorry, accidentally moved that. It's going to just staircase up, 
go over that and then come down one and then you could just put redstone all along the bottom here get get your uh, pink line just throw one right there it disconnects the redstone from going into your brown all right now now for our green wool path so you're just going to have your green block here as we already have build that out two which makes it three long we're going to go down diagonal build out three going to go up one like that and then we're just going to do a little staircase going up so the staircase is about three blocks go out two blocks and as you can see we've matched up with our green wool over here you're going to build up like a little bridge type thing like this Oop, there we go and then you are going to throw down uh, two blocks uh, below here like that and then you're just going to put down uh, redstone repeater uh, redstone redstone torch on that uh, second block there so then that can turn this off over here you're gonna place redstone just going up and down your bridge and as you can see this best is up here that's where you're gonna place a green block on top of that to disconnect those two wires and you're just gonna run redstone all the way down to the lever over here to the end of your green over here alright now for the white path we're gonna have our white block here and we're gonna come out to then we're going to build down uh, about three blocks and then we're going to start bridging outward like this now once you get out here it's going to be 14 blocks to the right including this block right here so we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and then you're just going to build upwards 1, 2, 3, 4 and we're going to place a torch right here. We're going to place a sticky piston right here. That pushes outward. We're going to place a piston on the top of this last block. And just place some white wool on both of these guys. And then once you're done with that, you can just get some redstone and have it lead all the way down the entire uh, width or length of this thing. And then back to the lever. And then once you have your redstone lined on the whole thing, you want to count about five blocks to the right and then just throw down a repeater five blocks. So four blocks are in between that and then repeater. Now, as you can see, when we go down here, we've got these, um, these three blocks here with redstone and then a repeater, then redstone. So let's just replace the block here with purple and we can replace the block here with blue and then the block here oh sorry with yellow and that'll help us just kind of categorize where these lines are going a bit better once you have your blocks like that we're going to take the purple block and we're going to go out about two here and then we're going to go and place a block up like that which is just one diagonal and then we're going to go up another one kind of making a little bridge and then go back down and then we're going to have it another one right there and this is going to be the way our purple current looks. And then you're going to place one repeater here. You're going to place redstone going over the bridge, like uh, on all three blocks. And then you're going to come over to the two over here. And you're just going to place two repeaters uh, going back. So this is the way the purple current will come out, just like that. And into the, uh, and into the second redstone torch. Now things are going to start getting a lot more cramped in here, but no worries, we're going to get it done. The blue current, which will start with this one repeater in between the yellow and purple, will come out right into a block like this. And then it will go down uh, about two into here, and then it will kind of bridge back up like that. And then it will come out into here. We're going to have a block right here for the blue, and a block coming up like this. Oop. Like that, if you guys could see that. Then we're going to have this bridge up, um, bridge back down, and then it's going to extend out another, and then just come one over, one down, diagonal to the right, and then come out to here into the third redstone torch, just like that. And then for the redstone on it, we're going to have two repeaters. We're going to have redstone coming all the way on the bridge over to here. Redstone coming over here, redstone over here, over here, and on, oh, not on top of the bridge, because it'll just go through the block. And then a uh, repeater right here. Alright, now in here, the yellow one is probably the hardest, but it 
because it goes around and wraps around the blue and the purple. So it's going to come down one, it's going to come out two, we're going to place a block there and a block like that. So this is what it's going to come out from a block like that and that. We're going to have a redstone torch here, and then we're going to have a block. Um, let's place a block here so we can do this. And then this is what's gonna it's gonna look like a bit of a triangle coming out here. We have a redstone uh, circuit coming in here, and then a redstone torch up here, which will basically make it so it should be fine. Um, and then we're gonna plug in some redstone here, and there we go. And then we're gonna come out here. And we're gonna build all the way to the side here. Oops, sorry. And we're gonna connect it into our third. Uh, redstone torch. Then we're gonna build into the middle here. So we're gonna build in here and we're gonna build into that first redstone torch here and then we're gonna just place a block where that repeater is leading into right here. And then we're gonna place redstone on and this is on the inside on the right side of the purple curve. We're gonna place redstone underneath that bridge and then a repeater there. Then we're going to have a redstone current just coming all the way out here, all the way out here, and then repeater there, and then redstone current coming out here. We will uh, actually have a repeater uh, here, oh, sorry, here as well. And then all these currents are connecting, so we're just going to place yellow wool, yellow wool, yellow wool, and yellow wool. And then we will have a repeater right here. And that should be the entire uh, yellow current. We're just going to go over it one more time. We have a repeater going to that middle block, yellow there, and then the redstone repeater. And then let's go over here and look at this again. All of this. Okay. And the yellow block here is just protect from that. that. That is the entire yellow current. Now FYI guys, with these new three currents we just built, the purple, blue, and yellow, we're going to come down here, and hopefully you'll kind of be able to see uh, where we are right now. And there's going to be a gray block, which don't place it just yet, but there's going to be a gray block right here. Now we're going to need to remove the block to the uh, right next to this purple wool here with the repeater on it, and replace it with whatever you want, but it needs to be a slab, and then just put the repeater back on, and then you can put your uh, block and your lever, lever back. Um, once that's done, you can just throw that back under. And then we're going to have a gray block, which is right here. So, uh, And then we're just going to build out from there. So hopefully you guys got that. It's about a gray block diagonal to these three currents. We just built diagonal to here one. You're going to need a slab uh, right next to it so then the current can get out from the gray block down below. Alright, once you have that done, you're just going to continue your gray block out until you're one away from this current, then you're going to continue this way um, until you're here, and then right here we're going to have a slab, and then we're going to start doing the whole slab up thing. So we're going to do one, two, slab, one, two, slab, one, two, slab, one, two, and then uh, slab, one, two, slab. And that's about one slab starting there, about three slabs on each side high, and until you get you know one above the yellow, which is about at that green level there. And then we're going to go all the way out here, then we're going to do a bridge right there, go above that uh, piston, come over here and then we're just gonna build a block right here so kinda just move down one block diagonal and then just put a redstone current and that will go into that repeater there which is your last hopper and we're just gonna redstone the whole thing up like that all your slabs and throw one one repeater right here and then redstone the rest alright now we're gonna go up to the top and about two blocks to the left of your redstone lamp we're going to place down a block, then place down another block, uh, about diagonal from that. We're going to throw a redstone torch on that, and we're just going to throw redstone going all the way down to the end here. 
Next, we're going to start on our red path. So at the bottom, we have a repeater coming out here, so you guys can see where we are. Um, just to the right of it, one block, we're going to start the red path right here. Now we're going to go down and then back up in a bridge formation. And then we're going to come out here, and we're going to have a thing coming out here. So FYI, the red path is quite large, so we're going to do all this first, and then we will do the redstone afterwards. So we're going to have a block come out here, because the current's going to try and go through here. Have a block here, a piston, so we can get a one tick out of that. And then that's going to go into some bricks. So we're going to do a brick uh, stream type thing coming out here. We're just going to build up like this with our bricks. And we're going to build to the right with one brick. And then we're going to have a redstone path going right here. This is all still connected to the red. And then we're going to come out here, and then we're going to have that lead right into our torch that we just set up. And now we have another path, um, which we'll start from down here. And this is going to lead right here. We're going to build up diagonal one. I'm going to come over here, and that will, uh, oh, actually here. here. It's supposed to be like that. So we build, go out one here, and then we build up the diagonal one up here, and then we build the block here. And then we're going to place a block right here. Then we're going to just staircase up three blocks, and then we're going to have a sticky piston right here. There you go. And then we're going to place a red block here. And then we're going to go over here and kind of um, diagonal outward about one block away from your top staircase. We're going to have a sticky pi uh, block here, sticky piston to the left of it, block here, and then a block coming out, and then a block here. And then we're just going to put a block right here. FYI, this block uh, won't be for anything. All right, now, so now let's start putting on the redstone to all these paths. So we'll start from the beginning here. We're going to go redstone, 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 redstone. FYI, um, this thing is going to have a little, oh, right here, gray block. Uh, it could be red, too, if you'd like. But yeah, yeah, same difference. Just put a block there to disconnect the gray current from the red current. Anyway, put a repeater here, going into that uh, white wall in that with that piston, and then put a oops, sorry, put a repeater coming out of that white wall into there, and then a repeater coming into here, uh, with two ticks on this repeater coming out of there. Then we're gonna just redstone up to the top here, and then just redstone into here. And they're gonna redstone down here and put a repeater with two ticks and then a uh, block here and then uh, red, uh, oh, sorry, and then a repeater here and then we're gonna go and just redstone this up and then we're gonna put a repeater here placing into the white block which will be extended when it comes to it and then just redstone down there connecting back up to our red current and that is the red current all done okay next we're gonna start with our blue current so that's gonna be the, our, here's our blue ring stand and our hopper. We're going to place a block here and we're going to start it right here. And we'll put a redstone torch on top of that. Now we're going to have two blocks come out here. These are just going to be barrier blocks. Then two blocks coming out of the bottom here. I mean, sorry, three blocks. So it'll look kind of like that to start off with. We're just redstone torch on the first block. We're going to have redstone coming out here. And then we're going to have uh, another block on top of that with a redstone torch. And then another top a block on top of that with a slab here and block here and a block come in blocks coming out here and then we will redstone um, all the top of the blocks here and they'll just come out like this so it'll kind of look like a like a U maybe from this side with uh, three redstone lengthwise and then with two you know just do it along the top here and that's the entirety of the blue um, circuit Next is the pink circuit, so we're going to just build up, uh, build a block out here. You could destroy the block underneath that. And then we're just going to do a little triangle here. We're going to set a redstone torch on the inside of the triangle on this block here, facing inward on the hopper, and then we're going to have a repeater here. Two redstone coming on there to connect those up. Now we're going to have this just come down one diagonally. We're going to have that just bring it out about three. Move this out right here. So you have this six type of uh, platform here with one block connected there to, up to here. 
And then we're going to have repeaters like this to create a lock. We're going to have redstone here, here, and here. Um, so redstone pretty much on all the blocks other than repeaters except for this one, which connects, you know, these two and these two. Um, once we're done with that, we're going to have the pink come up here, one block, and then come over here, one block. So you're going to have one block going up diagonally, one block going down diagonally. The, di uh, the diagonal down ones will come out four blocks. We'll go to the side, uh, have about three blocks here on the side. And then you will have a slab, a stone slab come up here. And that will go into a redstone torch here, which goes into a, oops, sorry, I accidentally clicked that, which goes on top of that, a uh, block on top of that redstone torch, redstone torch there. And then you will have a block diagonal to that. You'll have a uh, redstone, and then you'll have a sticky piston. And then you can just put a pink block right there which connects up to your sticky piston. Now let's link this up with some redstone here. We're going to have, so this is going to be repeater delays here. So we're going to have four, one, a repeater of four delays, repeater four delays, and then two more repeaters with four delays. So you'll have four repeaters, all with four delays linked up on the bottom here. And now this top pink circuit is just going to, we're just going to throw some redstone there. And that is it for our pink circuit. Uh, this will be connected to a purple circuit, which will occupy this space and then come out here. Okay, so to start out the purple current, which may be one of the harder ones, uh, we're going to put a comparator right here, which is to the right of our hopper directly above our brewing stand. And then we're going to put a little repeater here. And then we're going to have some blocks come out like this and just uh, kind of wrap around it uh, like that. So two blocks coming out the front and then wrap back around it to the left. And then we're going to have two blocks come out here. And then we're going to build... Uh, kind of an eight block um, section uh, right here. Now this is about seven blocks right here. It's pretty close quarters, but no worries. And then we're just going to put uh, one block right here. So your last eighth block in this uh, eight kind of section will be right here, and you're just going to move it up one. So that's why it's going to be out of the floor. And uh, yeah, so let's add redstone. Redstone goes all the way up here, connects there. And then we're going to add comparators. So comparators will go into this block, and then we're going to throw redstone there, and then two comparators right here. So that's what this is going to look like. And it, all, and it goes inside of this tiny space right next to our uh, red current and our blue current here. So, And then we're going to have a block come out in the, uh, in the middle of these three blocks here, and we're going to place a repeater on top of that. All right. Now for the uh, delay. So we're going to have two hoppers right here. And then they're to the right of your chest. And they're just going to face into each other. Now they're right next to this current, but don't worry about it. And then we're going to have a block here. And then we're just going to staircase that up and place a block next to that staircase. Like that. Redstone torch. Redstone on the top of that. And then we're going to do a sticky piston uh, facing downwards and put some uh, a block there. We're going to have two blocks on the bottom. Let me get rid of that black wall. You have two blocks right next to these hoppers here. And what you're going to do is throw comparators onto these two blocks, if I can get in there. Boom, boom. There you go. And then you have two comparators coming out of those blocks. You'll have a block right here with a redstone torch. And then you'll have a... Uh, here. You're going to have this right here. Um, and then a block here. Now, this will just activate this. So you have two blocks uh, below your redstone torch right here on this block. And then you will uh, have two blocks come down here, place redstone torch there, redstone there. Um, place a block right here. This is where the repeater will be sending its current into that block right here. And that block will have a redstone torch on the back here. Oops, sorry. Not there. Here. So this repeater will go into here, disabling that redstone torch and making this whole thing work. If you could see how this is built. Okay. Now, uh, with that done, we're going to have a redstone torch here, which should be turned off right now. And we're going to have a little path right here. And that's going to come up, and that's going to uh, just kind of move into this thing here. Like that. 
For the last part of the purple part, you're going to have to go up to your two hoppers and just place in 40 blocks. Now the last circuit you're going to need is the Clion or blue or light blue circuit. So that's going to be right below your output for the potions chest. It's just going to be diagonal 1 and then you're just going to move down 1 and there's where your current goes. So like right there. You're going to move out a few blocks so that's 3 long and then you're going to come out uh, I think about 4 blocks from there. And then right to the edge, so where your circuitry is, you're going to come out to the edge there. Then you're just going to staircase uh, type a, oops, sorry, build one block up here. So you're going to come out three blocks from that. And then on the last one, build this last block up one and just build another block up one. So kind of staircase that to the left there. And then you're going to put two torches, one, two, on those staircase blocks. And then you're just going to have a redstone current go into that first staircase block from uh, the blue circuit there. With the blue path up at, the t up at the top where the blue stuff comes out, the six spaces in here are for your own choosing of note blocks. Now, just to say, you, put, you only have about four note blocks where you can do custom uh, sounds using blocks due to the fact that you can place blocks within this, these four block areas like here. So you could do, you know, wool here and stuff. Um, but not under these two, as there is a hopper under this one, and there is redstone current under that one. So, um, yeah, so you could, this is six places for you to place some note blocks as a sound that goes off when your potions are done. Alright guys, so I've done a couple tests and used the machine, and I've, all the potions seem to be working, so it works, and that's great. Uh, at this point in time, it would be great to throw in the materials if you guys have them after the build is done and it won't start using stuff automatically until you're ready. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys coming in and checking out my machine. I will see you all later.